What's going on everyone? Austin John plays here and tonight I want to go over the new Pokemon in the Indigo Disc and what you need to know about what Pokemon are going to be shiny locked in your adventure in the Blueberry Academy. <laughs> I got bad news, yes I do. Bad news for shiny hunters. Pretty much everything is shiny locked. Okay, first, spoilers. In the beginning portion of this video, I'm going to be going over the Pokemon that are static encounters in the game that you're going to be walking into and having a battle with that are going to be catchable, that are or are not shiny locked. During that portion, I am going to be saying the names of some of the new Pokemon, but I'm not going to be showing them off or telling you any Anything about them. In the later portion of the video, I'm going to be showing you the new Pokemon available in the game, what they look like, and you may consider that a spoiler. So before we enter that section, I am going to be giving you a spoiler warning appearing at the bottom of the screen. But for the beginning of the video, I'm going to be talking about the static encounters that may include the names of the Pokemon that you are going to encounter. You need to know this information. You need to know what they are. Okay, so starting off, thank you, Matt, the data miner who found out all this information. It's 8.53. It's been out for less than an hour. <laughs> I'm... I'm this far. I just got my first Alolan and I'm ready to go to class with it. That's that's where we are. Okay, so Sub Entei, which is going to be gouging fire. It's going to be a level 75 encounter. It cannot be shiny. Also, it has fixed IVs of 20 in everything. That's pretty neat. This is also not going to be saying which version of the game these Pokemon are going to be. We also have Sub Raikou, who's Raging Bolt. That's going to be shiny. Never. Also, 20 IVs across the board. Now, just for the record, I'm saying that static encounters of these Pokemon are shiny locked. I haven't played through all of the DLC yet. If they appear anywhere else, those ones are not shiny locked. These static encounters are shiny locked. There's a Garchomp battle that's shiny locked. There's a Glamora battle that's shiny locked. There's a Noivern battle that's shiny locked. There's a Garganicult battle that's shiny locked. There's a Sandy Shocks battle that's shiny locked. There's an Iron Thorns battle that's shiny locked. There's an Iron Crown battle that's shiny locked. There's an Iron Boulder, which is sub Terrakian, that's going to be shiny locked. 20 IVs across the board. There's Picharunt, which is going to be a new Pokemon level 88 static encounter. It is going to be shiny locked. Terrapagos, the legendary Pokemon of this DLC, is going to be shiny locked, 20 IVs across the board. There's a fixed encounter of regular Cobalion, who is shiny locked. There's a fixed encounter of Cubfu, who is shiny locked. Entei is shiny locked. Articuno, Glastrier, Groudon, Ho-Oh, Kyogre, Qrem, Latias, Latios, Lugia, Lunala, Moltres, Necrozma, Raikou, Rayquaza, Reshiram, Sogaleo, Spectrier, Suicune, Parakian, Verizian, Zapdos, Zekrom, and the mythical Pokemon Meloetta. All of those Pokemon are static encounters, and as you saw by the highlight, every single one of them is going to be shiny locked. So unfortunately, Pokemon such as the DLC Pokemon from Sword and Shield are going to remain shiny locked. Also, as we saw here, there's going to be some legendary Pokemon that are not static encounters. Like we had the Dialga and Palkia event going on, it's possible that some of the legendary Pokemon are only going to be in these raid updates. It's, it's a scary new world. We are now entering the part of the video that I'm going to be going over the designs of the new Pokemon, of which there are eight new Pokemon. One of them has three different forms that it is going to be appearing in. So out of all of these Pokemon, you have seen four out of these eight Pokemon and you already know about the Diplin. So if you consider those Pokemon to be spoilers, you may want to click away the video now. I may have a card in the corner for something else for you to watch. If not, I'm going to be continuing on with the video. Okay, here they are. Here is the new gang. First of all, we have Archaladon, which we already knew about this. It's a new evolution of Duraludon, the Pokemon from Sword and Shield. And now we have Hydrapple. Hydra Apple. Hydrapple. That's Diplin's evolution, which is just a longer worm now? Are there three heads? It looks like there's only one. That's not what a Hydra is. Okay, uh, brand new Pokemon, Gouging Fire. 
which is a past paradox version of Entei. It looks really, really cool until you look at his face. Also, the shiny looks so dope. We have Raging Bolt, which we've seen in official media. We have Terrakian's future paradox version, which is called Iron Boulder. It's it's a metal Terrakian in the same way that we've seen Verizian, which is now Iron Crown. We've seen these. They're just they're just metal now. They're just go 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 gadget legendary. We have Terrapagos, who is this tiny little adorable guy, and is also this bigger turtle over here. And is also this crazy globe thing. And then on top of the crazy globe thing is the large turtle. And then on top of the turtle is the tiny little adorable guy. We know that this is Terrapagos, which apparently there is no fixed battle. There is no static battle against that exact Pokemon. But this is called its terrestrial form. And in its terrestrial form, you are going to be having a static encounter with it. It's level 90. Good luck. And there's Terrapagos-2, which is considered its stellar form. That's the name of the new Terra type. Stellar. And that's this enormous thing going on over here, which is pretty amazing. And then we have this thing. This Final Fantasy goblin-looking thing called Pecharunt. Pecharunt? Pecharunt. Pecharunt. One of those is the proper pronunciation, maybe, maybe not. You're going to be having a fixed battle against this, level 88, Timid Nature. It has an ability called Poison Puppeteer. No idea what that is, that's a brand new ability. Terra type is Poison, three flawless IVs, shiny locked, scale is 128, moves are Nasty Plot, Toxic, Malignant Chain, brand new move, and Shadow Ball. There you go. That's the new Pokemon, that's the returning legendary Pokemon, and to be honest with you, I am super disappointed that the returning legendary Pokemon are shiny locked. Why? Why would you do that? After Dynamax Adventures giving us increased shiny odds, that's how I got my Zygarde after taking him down in 100% form? That was one of the most fulfilling shiny hunts of my entire life. And now, just no. Just no, you just can't do it. There is no reason for that. There is zero reason for that. I am very upset that you're not gonna be able to do these shiny hunts, which, as every single person can tell you, extends the longevity of this game and how you experience it, this DLC. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. I'm gonna be covering a lot more content on the Indigo Disc. Here, be sure to subscribe, turn on notifications. Enjoy your time in Blueberry Academy. Until next time, Austin John out. Man, they see me shining. Like I got the charm, stay strapped, got that jet ball in my palm Fell from the sky, guess I'm the chosen one And if you need to know how, check out Austin John Champion flow, flow, yeah, I got that Champion flow, flow